How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Stamina Zero called Scylla. Shout out to them for getting me a code for the game. And you're looking at seven bucks on the PlayStation Store with eight total stacks. This is a classic side scrolling 2D shmup. There's just enough difficulty here to make it fun to play while still being totally doable within an hour if you're good at these kinds of games. I don't think the majority of this game needs a full walkthrough, but I'm going to leave my entire playthrough up with some commentary here and there just to point out some things I picked up while playing. There's a number of trophies that will just unlock as we play, but my main tips are just to keep shooting no matter what as you have to fire 21,000 shots for a trophy, as well as using every power-up you come across to get the 30 power-ups used trophy. So right off the bat, in level 1, we've got two trophies we're going to go for. First, just let the alien shoot down your buddy pilot, Lockhart, and you'll get a trophy. You might want to just restart at this point, as the second trophy we're going for is the finish a level with three stars trophy. This is honestly pretty difficult to get in all the other levels in the game, but your main focus is to not get hit. You get a big chunk of points at the end, depending on how much damage you've taken, so that, along with carefully taking out all the easier ships in this level, makes it an ideal spot to get this out of the way. Nothing special going on in level 2, so make your way through the level, and I'll see you in level 3. Oh, and by the way, by this point in the game, you've probably realized that hitting any kind of enemy ship is a death sentence. So make avoiding that your top priority moving forward. All right, level three is going to include one missable trophy, though there is chapter select, so it's not a huge deal. When you have the option to talk to Lockhart during this level, don't skip the dialogue as I'm sure you've been doing all along. Instead, while he's talking, pull your ship up behind his and blast him a few times until he dies, getting you the lusting for death trophy. The missile shooting bike guys are a bit of a pain, try to take them out the moment they appear on screen, as trying to dodge the missiles as the bike moves past you gets to be a pain, especially on higher levels when there's more than one. Use the slow down time power up to your advantage here.
Level 4 is going to introduce some big ships which fire the green shots continuously from the top and bottom. The best way I found to handle these was to hop in between the lines of shots like a game of double dutch, park yourself there, and keep firing until it's taken out.
Level 5 is going to introduce these longer, slower ships, which shoot the same green shots as the regular aliens. Once they get halfway across the screen, they'll race past you and off the screen, so make sure you're not in the path of one if you don't take it out. Level 6 is going to introduce these exclamation points on the right side of the screen. This is your notice to not be in that lane as there's going to be a fast moving ship going from right to left once the mark disappears. You can absolutely dodge these if you're close to the left side of the screen, but just be aware of where they're coming from.
right, time for our first boss fight, the wall. Our targets are the two areas between the turrets, not the turrets themselves. Try your best to hang back towards the left side of the screen while firing in the direction of those weak spots, as eventually two of those larger double green shot aliens will spawn in, and if you're in their spot when they spawn, you'll die and have to restart the level from the beginning. Focus on one of the weak spots, then focus on the two aliens that spawn in, and finally finish off the last weak spot. Level 7 is going to introduce some cracks in space-time or something like that. Basically, these orange target marks that you want to stay far away from. They're seemingly random where they're going to spawn, and there's always plenty of space with none of them around, so just pay attention and you'll be able to deal with them no problem.
Level 8 isn't going to introduce anything new, just more of the same, so fight your way through the level and I'll see you in level 9.
Level 9 is one of the shortest levels in the game. All it features are these ships that fly in quickly from right to left, as well as these weird asteroid things that bounce around. Killing one of them will unlock the Know Your Enemy trophy. After you get that trophy, you can pretty much just stick to the bottom of the screen and avoid everything just fine. It should only take you around two minutes to finish, so I'll see you in the final level, 10, for the final boss fight. All right, time to finish the fight. We've got the final boss fight, and you're going to have to take him out twice to unlock the platinum. There's a choice once you beat him, spare or kill him, and each one has its own trophy. The boss will always do the same moves in the same order, so if it takes you a few tries, you should be able to memorize the pattern. Avoid the explosions, then stick to the bottom of the screen once he starts his missile attacks, moving back and forth to avoid the shots. And once he finishes it, the two middle cannons will open up to damage. I chose the bottom first, but either one works. You can't move through the beam he fires, so you're forced to go through another set of attacks before attacking the second cannon. He'll attack in reverse this time, using missiles first, then explosions, so use the same strat as before, then move up to the top half of the screen to work on the second cannon. With the second cannon down, a health power-up will spawn in from the left side of the screen, so grab that, then move to the lower middle of the screen, hugging close to where he drops his ship down. You can completely avoid his spray attack here, so keep that in mind for future attacks as well. After his spray attack, the second set of cannons will open up, and this is where things can get hairy. They have a tracking shot, but there's definitely a rhythm to them. Take out the bottom cannon first... Keep firing, moving slightly up or down following the ship. Whether you manage to take it out or not, you'll have new mechanics to deal with when the force fields come back up. The cannons will fire the green shots toward you, as well as the fast-moving ships zipping in from the right side of the screen. Another health pack will spawn from the left side of the screen, and he'll then move back into the spray shot from before, so use the same strat we used last time. You've seen all the mechanics at this point, so just keep at it until you get the last cannon down and you'll be able to make your choice.
If you choose to spare him, the game will end right then and there, and you'll have your first ending. If you choose to kill him, you'll just have to finish him off, dealing with all the same mechanics as before, but without the cannons firing at you. Once you've got both, assuming you've fired your 21,000 shots, died 10 times, and used 30 power-ups, your platinum should unlock. All right, that'll do it for me, though, everybody. Super simple, easy, cheap, fast platinum today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below which number platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content. This was number 967 for me.